we're, we're not going to give in to what all of these places want us to think that, yeah, we're getting older and sicker and we need medications. Yeah, we need to get out of the way so the younger generation can take over. And We're not moving! Thanks for watching Hardiness Approach. Homestead. On our homestead today. <laughs> uh, we're, we're excited to have this great day. We've had a uh, couple of different of our followers, uh, people we follow as well, make some, uh, share some thoughts with us that got us to thinking. Um, one of them was the idea of sustainability. And that, and that, we, we, well, that's you gotta an give important knowledge. One. Kip Smith with Thousands of Roots Homestead has put out a challenge for people to put out something that they're doing or need to change to do that makes life sustainable. So, so Kip, here is part of what we're doing, a, a, a core part of what we're doing. And then also for Steve Mabley, of Steve Mabley, I guess. Well, he is in the Rockies and we just started following him and he's pretty good. He pointed out to us that he didn't like the term aging in place and we're like... Aging. Aging. And we're like, yeah, Steve, you're right. We don't like the term either. We haven't known what else to use. So, we put on our thinking caps and we came up with what not to do. <laughs> what not to do. And then we'll share with you what we are going to do. Okay, so let's do every other one and we'll do that okay. one last. We won't do this one. Okay, so I went... So th these are synonyms. See the flag? Can they see the flag? No, they... they sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's it brushes cool. right over my head. It, it waves in so the breeze. The <laughs> these are synonyms of the word aging. We were flabbergasted. Okay. So, uh, you know, you think aging, it's what you... but. Think about what it conjures up in your mind when you hear the word aging. The first synonym is wearing out. The second mm -hmm. one is crumbling. The third one, you'll love this one, declining. Fading. The next one is kind of interesting. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, it's <laughs> Fermenting. It's because some people get sour, I guess. <laughs> well, I think that applies to to foods and whatnot, not people necessarily, but interesting concept. Waning. Now this last one is just perfect. Slumping. Slumping. Uh, I, I. So when I saw that, I'm like, all right, we cannot use aging. Yeah, anymore. aging doesn't apply to what we want to talk about, to what we want to embody to what we want to encourage uh, that's not aging not aging okay, so flag i love you but stay right there <laughs> proudly she waves so we're we're not going to talk about aging is is a negative kind of thing when you think about it in that way in that way and so we don't want to do that but da -da 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 -da. so with our thinking here's our fanfare that we use it's coming what, what we came up with is sustainable living in place. Think about it. That, that really talks more about it. We're not aging in place, slumping and declining and waning and all of that. Uh, that's not what we want to do. I'm going to take this flag down for a moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Sorry, it was getting in the way. <laughs> On the contrary, we want to live in place and do it sustainably. There you go, Kip, there's the sustainable part. Living in place is, is great, but sustainably meaning that you can continue it. Right. And what's great about this, it, it kind of opens things up fairly easily to a wider age range. This can be folks who have several years of experience or those who are just beginning to get their experience. Setting yourself up to live sustainably in place. Um, that's, that's the smart thing to do because you're going to face whether you're young 
or older, you're going to face challenges. And if you have planned to have a sustainable way of living there, you're going to do great. So we're going to hashtag sustainable living in place. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. I'll just sit here and hold it for you, okay? <laughs> I'm good at holding the flag. <laughs> I think it got my shit. <laughs> very nice in your hand. Though. It does. It that's where it belongs. It does. <laughs> so, we're hashtagging. We're hashtagging sustainable living in place. And so that's what we're going to use. We're going to put that on our website, on our Facebook, and in our um, things that we do with our vlog. And we invite all of you who are inclined to do so to join us in and taking that phrase and promoting the idea of we're, we're not going to give in to what all of these places want us to think that, yeah, we're getting older and sicker and we need medications. Yeah, we need to get out of the way so the younger generation can take over. And We're not moving. <laughs> we, we know what we can do. We know what we want to do. We're not going to give up just because they tell us we got to give up. I, I mean, if, if we have an accident, whatever, I mean, that can happen, but we don't gotta get slumping and degrading and fermenting and all of those things. We don't gotta do it. We can we enjoy gotta, ourselves. Huh? Your English is very good, sir. Yeah, I sir. know. It is. It is. Can I, can I insert something here? This is a good one. And, and I'm going to use this often. I have I've no used idea it before. what he's inserting. When someone finally comes to the end of their life and they're their remains are put at the cemetery. There's usually a stone either on the ground or standing up. And I, I don't know that there are exceptions. There may be, but almost all stones are going to have a date that they were born and a date that they died. Right. Uh, and you look at that and, you know, it tells you something about them. But what tells the most about them is that dash between the two dates. Now, I like the word dash because in life, we all want to be dashing. We all want to be in a hurry to get things done. And the best life is the one to where we are dashing and we skid into the end and come to a full stop doing everything we want to do until the end. That's how I want to be remembered is by my dash. That's why I love you. Yes, it is. It's one of them. Maybe That's not the main one. So, so join us. Let's make our dashes exciting and full of vibrancy and good stuff. Tomorrow is the 180th day of our 180 degree lifestyle in 180 days. And we are thrilled that so many have joined in, looked at what we're doing, and are working to make the changes that we're saying can happen and that they believe can happen, that they want to have happen, that they hope will happen for By them. By the way, we made another one of those pizzas today. It's better. <laughs> it was so good. And we put um, grilled onions on them and the basil this time. We didn't forget the basil. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Anyway, tomorrow is a special day. We've had this day circled for six months because it's six months that we will have been doing these in a row. But now we have a new reason to have this day circled. So I suggest you tune in tomorrow and find out how we're going to make our life a little more sustainable. Thanks for watching.